just down the road from Whitnell Park and that really awesome waterfall that we saw in our last video is the South Ridge Mall. Yep, that's right. It's time for another mall video on Memories by Wayne. Let's do this. Now while we are pretty close to Milwaukee, technically we are in Greendale, Wisconsin. Still the southwest suburbs. Now from what I understand, this is one of Milwaukee County's most popular malls. So this is far from a dead mall. This place is a far contrast from its twin, I guess if you want to call it, Northridge Mall up in the northern end of Milwaukee, which has quite a fascinating history. It closed back in 2003, I believe. There was a shooting which damaged the reputation of the mall. It's been covered by many dead mall channels. It still sits abandoned has a lot of property damage. There was several fires last year and it's owned by like a Chinese company that won't do anything with the property or tear it down. It's it, it, it's a crazy history. Definitely check it out. A little too hot button topic for me to cover it but it's, it's pretty wild, so we're going to check out Southridge today. This is my first time visiting this place. It is multi-level, so it's not a small mall. And we are here on the upper level. Yeah, so like I say, definitely not a dead mall. Now my retail and mall videos do really well. And I was so close after that waterfall video, I just had to check it out. And the research I've done, apparently just the general overall layout and aesthetics of this place is very similar to Northridge back in its prime many many years ago they seem to be doing pretty well with the anchors there was a Macy's back there and a JC Penny but yeah I don't really see too much in the way of empty stores so very good, definitely modern. And I know this mall opened up quite a long time ago, about the same time as Northridge. Whole oh, like Valentine's thing going on there with the X's and the O's. It is Valentine's today, by the way. Appears to be some sort of arcade and bowling alley ahead. That's pretty interesting. Round one. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's kind of cool. And I think we reached the other end of the mall. Oh, yeah, but this is like total uh, Dave and Buster's thing going on here. <laughs>
Yeah, they got the game cards, of course. I did not even hear of this place before. It's basically Dave and Buster's with a bowling alley, I guess. Yeah, there's some bowling lanes. <laughs> That's cool. Bowling and amusement, round one. Oh, this is fun. You know, I, I might have to come back here. <laughs> This is cool. Well, it looks like they have a bar. Some party rooms. Food stand, which is close. I do have to find some food at some point. I haven't ate yet since I came up to check out the waterfall. So it's getting to be lunchtime soon. And this place reminds me how long it's been since I've last been to Dave and Buster's. Oh my god. All right, they do have a food court, so maybe we're gonna take advantage of that. Ooh, they have a Rocky Rococo's. Ooh, my gosh, that's a something that reminds me of Wisconsin Dells and their goofy commercials back in the. 80s <laughs> all right so what we're gonna do is we'll walk back this way kind of to where we came in go downstairs check out the lower level and then end up over by the food court and get something to eat now i've subscribed to a lot of channels over the years that covers malls Ooh, a gloria jeans coffee and most of them do their videos with the voiceovers. I don't know, I kind of prefer doing my videos this way. What do you guys think? Lots of snowflakes. All right, down to the lower level. Kitty car rides. <laughs> Welcome to Southridge Mall. Got a kids' play area. Bubble Licious. And that's pretty neat, a grab and go. So they got basically a little convenience store snack shop. All right, we're at the love section. So I guess with these setups, if you post a pick, you can win something. My love is back in McHenry though. <laughs> So I guess the balloon is just for me. How about a nice game of chess? Or how about some food? Hot topic, of course. Ideal cars. Ooh, what's this? Kind of like a toy store and sell RC cars. That's interesting. Oh yeah, downtown Milwaukee. Still not super close to downtown Milwaukee. Hey, there's Whitnell Park. We were just at in the last video. And let's see what other place we've been to. North Beach? Yeah, I think we've been there, All right? Racine County Zoo, definitely. Alpine Valley, so many Dave Matthews Band concerts there. 
Ice Age Trail. Yeah, technically in Janesville, we hit that. Um, White River Trail. Yeah, I think that's the one in Lake Geneva we were at not too long ago. Lake Geneva. <laughs> Been there a few times. Yerkes Observatory. That is near Lake Geneva as well. We've never done that, but that's actually Williams Bay, but it is definitely on my list to check out. Mars Cheese Castle, believe it or not, even though I've seen it a million times, don't think I've ever been inside there. Of course, the Bristol Renaissance Fair, also never been there. And really not much up here that I've ever been to. All right, let's see what food offerings they have. China Max, that actually is very tempting. I haven't had a good Chinese meal in a while. Potato Master, they're closed. Urban Street Kitchen. Probably kind of like a Popeyes. Tokyo Hut. Okay, interesting. La Mesa Mexican Grill. Steak Escape. Mad Chicken. <laughs> Some funny names for these places. You got some good things here too. American Fresh Sushi, Closed, Mama Giros, and of course Rocky Rococo. And apparently in the bottom floor of round one they have a Dick Sporting Goods. Now as much as I was tempted to go to Rocky Rococo's for the nostalgia feels, I actually just had pasta not too long ago. So we went with China Max. And this is what we're dealing with. Orange chicken with the noodles. And a side of Crab Rangoon. I'm gonna start out with the Crab Rangoon because we have to. It always costs extra, but it's hard to pass up a side of Grand Rangoon. <laughs> Pretty good. All right, time to dig into the main dish. Orange chicken is always a go-to at Panda Express. And this is fairly good as well. All right, let's try the noodles. I kind of switched from doing rice to doing noodles over the recent years. <laughs> I don't know if it's just trying to do a lower carb thing or what, but <clears throat> it's kind of switched over to noodles. It just kind of happened. They're good though. They have some onions in there as well, which is nice. I'm pretty impressed with Southridge Mall here in Greendale, Wisconsin. Kind of hard to believe that once upon a time Northridge, if you followed that history and maybe watched some of the dead ball videos, it used to be like this. Now I would like to cover the dead malls, the abandoned malls more, the in-between malls like Spring Hill. But I'm also very happy to see that there are still a few thriving malls out there. Like Southridge, like Brookfield, and like Hawthorne Woodfield as well. 
Couldn't even finish all the chicken. Glad I only got the single combo. Well, I'm gonna say that was a pretty nice way to spend a full spring day in February. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. One of the things that I like most about my mall and retail videos is that they tend to get a lot of comments. I enjoy interacting with you and learning your memories about these places. Make sure to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And that is it from South Ridge Mall. Thank you for watching.